on schedule. Gordon, the big blue engine, was in a foul mood. Oh, the indignity, he muttered. I have been made late multiple times due to the oh, railworks, and now passengers are complaining. I just can't believe the nerve of some people. He scowled. But Henry and James were fast asleep and heard nothing of the situation. Just then, Daisy rolled in with a sour look. Oh, those silly passengers. They think I'm, I'm irresponsible over being made light. I see what you mean, Daisy. Although privately, my coaches must not be made unhappy. Oh, when I hear those complaints again, I will refuse to move. That easy for otherwise. At last, Henry and James woke up. You know something, Gordon? James put in. I think you're just being a bit... It, it, it grumpy? Yeah, what he said, agreed Henry. Then, James remarked. If you were a mixed traffic engine like me and Henry, even perhaps you'd complain less. Daisy snickered, but whilst Gordon was so furious, that's why he decided to pay James back for such a vulgar remark. However, he was too tired to say anything, so he went crossly to sleep. The next morning, not much of Gordon's mood had changed. He had woken up in an even worse mood. Oh, hurry up, hurry up. He snapped as the passengers boarded their coaches. The passengers, knowing that Gordon was in a foul mood, boarded their coaches on the quick. And with a wheel turn... Gordon set off. Off with the express. With his coat, it is, is in tow. Don't make such a fuss. Don't make such a fuss. They he did it. You see, he, he might in who owned a farm had placed his, his, his tool shed in where he shouldn't. It was a windy day. And you know what happened? The wind picked up the shed. Placed it on the, on the track Gordon was approaching on. And just sat there. And then... Out of the blue, it happened. Oh, the indignity, Gordon cried and shut his eyes. Gordon's driver and fireman jumped clear after they had applied a break, but it was too late. As Gordon smashed through over the tall shed. After the crash, the man holding the box of tools was not very pleased. Look what you've done to my flipping shade, you, you silly engine. He scowled. 
At last, Gordon lost patience. What I you've done? I think what you've done is more near the mark. You've raced your shade in near the express line. Gordon snapped. And it would have been better if you did your job properly and assembled it, it on a more stable location. Me, unstable occasion. You destroyed my shade. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. For the last time, no, I didn't. The arguing went on until... Silence! Snapped a well-known voice. It was none other than the Fat Controller. That night... The other engines laughed at Gordon's misfortune. <laughs> who who would have thought that Gordon would get himself involved in a silly accident? <laughs> who would want to be reminded of, you know, of a, a few safety records then, Tease Thomas? It's not obviously too good to be true, Tease Percy. Henry and James burst out laughing at the thought. We should have given you a new nickname earlier, Gordon. Shed Crasher or Express. I quite agree, James. Teased Henry. Yes, the other engines burst out laughing. Not only did Gordon feel sick at the fort, but he seethed with baffled fury. Perhaps now it will teach him a lesson in not being so hasty. Don't you agree?